My husband, Eric, and I have four children. We have a preschooler, Logan, a second grader, Liam, fourth grade, Alora, and sixth grade, Peyton. When I gave up my teaching career, we just knew that being a mom was a full-time job. Normal day in our house is pretty crazy with four kids, as you might imagine. We have three different school drop-offs with preschool, elementary, and middle school, and then all the different activities from soccer to baseball games to dance and piano lessons. And we have church and church choir, and so it gets pretty hectic around here. Back when I was a child, my mom was diagnosed with cancer at age 34. Um, she passed away at age 38, and I was only 14 when she passed away. And so breast cancer has been very much part of my life. And there was a point that I just always knew I would have breast cancer. It was just when. We even planned our children around when I could have my next screening. And after I would have a mammogram, then we knew that it, we could have another baby <laughs> to not have to worry about the radiation. I was 38 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and that's the same age that my mom died. It was still a shock to get that diagnosis and work through the emotions that come with all of that. I knew what it was like to be the kid with a parent with cancer, and so I was able to see how to parent through cancer and help the kids understand it. They know that they've never met grandma, and so there was anxiety. We had a lot of crying at bedtime, a lot of really tight hugs. One thing we know about the breast cancer that runs in our family is that it's elusive, it's aggressive, and it kills. We knew that the clock was ticking. And so appointments need to happen rapid fire along with decisions about how to handle this diagnosis. After meeting with the doctors here locally, my husband and I continued to do some more research on our own and decided it would be best to find another treatment option for us that was out of the area, out of network. We knew that the treatments were gonna cost a lot of money um, and going to all the different appointments, there were the unexpected things like the gas and the hotels overnight too. And then we tried to keep everything else going in our family. We were so blessed and thankful to the many friends and family that were able to step up and help us out to keep the kids on as much of a normal routine as they could, even though mom and dad didn't have the energy every day to do that. The night is dark, the night is heavy. That's when my husband and I would have our opportunity to talk without all the little ears around. We had many bills and EOBs coming in from all different places. We needed to somehow be able to sort that all out. And so for a year now, we've just kind of had bills laid out across our countertop island. There's a part of you going into this that you are prepared for a fight with the insurance company. And I was so happy to instead find a hidden partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Well, I have it. I have it. I'm actually going, well, The opportunity to have a member advocate really took a lot of the pressure off of me and allowed me the time to be a mom. The relationship that I formed with my member advocate, Kara, has been just amazing. I'm so appreciative of the time that she took to call and check in on me and to internally watch the EOBs coming through. I was so weak and worn through all of that that it was overwhelming to think about. We are looking to the future with so much hope and joy to know that the cancer has come, we faced it head on, and now we don't have to worry about the cancer diagnosis anymore in our lives.